Uh, what I'm going to try and show you as quickly as I can is how the new online marking tool in Blackboard can be used. You can use this with any student work that has been submitted through a Blackboard assignment link. So what I've done here is I've, I've mocked up uh, with a test student account some Word uh, files that have been submitted as coursework. So just emphasize that although this example video will show you me marking up a Word document, you can actually use the Blackboard marketing tool with any file type. So you can use it with PowerPoint files or Excel files or PDFs or even image files. So uh, imagine students submitted their work. I want to go in now and begin to mark that work online. So I go to the relevant Blackboard site, go to the Grade Center and open up the full Grade Center. And here in this column, you can see uh, SA1 uh, for test students or test student accounts have submitted work. And I, I can see work has been submitted because there's this round gold symbol. Uh, let me just um, <clears throat> mark the first student's work, um, that one. If I want to open that work for marking, I just click on the downward pointing arrow to the right of the, of the gold circle and select attempt. And the work should open in the marking environment. And there it is, this is the marking environment. Now, here is displayed the student's name. And it doesn't look like a name, that's because it's a, not, not a real student, but that would be the student name displaying there. If you wish to mark anonymously, you just click over here, hide usernames. And where previously the student name was displayed, their username will now be displayed. So if that was a real Westminster student, this here would look something like W followed by seven digits, the first seven digits of their student ID number. I just want to show you over here as well, um, when I've finished marking this uh, student's work, I can use the, these, this navigation button here to move to the next student in the class. And equally, I can move back and forth between um, different students. I can use this uh, jump to option to jump to the um, next student if I wish to. Anyway, let me just stick with uh, this student and um, lower down the marking environment. You've got two panes in the right hand pane here. That's where ultimately when I'm ready, I'll enter a mark for the student. Um, and also in this pane, I can type in this box some general feedback for the student. And I can also attach a feedback file if I wish to. So that's the right hand pane. In the left hand pane that's where I see the student work and um, along the top here you've got uh, some obvious um, buttons this increases the size of what you see in that area that reduces it to begin inserting comments well there are a number of ways to do that uh, onto the document um, you click on this first comment and you'll open up a bunch of ac uh, action buttons Let's go through them. If I just drop this little arrow down here, you can see there's three types of comments one can make, or you can make comments in three different ways, I should say. Let's try first a point comment. There I put a pointer at the point in the text that I want the comment to relate to, and then I type my comment. Now I've just typed a very short comment there, but you can type as much as you like in that box. Um, just to point out that once you put a comment in, it can subsequently be deleted. So I'm just going to delete that. And then I'll show you the next type of comment, an area comment, where you can just highlight an area of text and associate your comment with that area. Okay, so that's an area comment. Let me just delete that. And the final one I'll show you is text comment. Here, you actually highlight, you, know, you can highlight, the bit of text that your comment relates to. Okay, so those are the three types of comment um, that you can actually uh, make. Or, sorry, that's the three different ways in which you can add comments um, to the work that appear in the margin. I, sh I should have just pointed out, forgot, when you add a 
text comment like that and you highlight the text, you can change the color of the highlight by using these buttons here. Now, moving further along, you've got here a drawing tool, which means that you can, if you wish to, circle something. I'm not very good at doing that, clearly. Um, just click complete on that. And then you can subsequently, say, add a point comment to that. Uh, this is not a good idea. Um, okay, so I just delete that. And let me show you what else we've got here. We've got a highlighting tool. Again, you can choose the color of the highlights. So I can highlight a bit of text here. Um, if I want to change the color and highlight something in a different color. Oops. There we are, changes the color. And then once I've highlighted the text, if I want to actually then put a point comment in, I can do that. Okay, so just delete that comment. And then you've got a text uh, tool. So if you want to, you can actually type some text in the body of the work. Like so. And um, you've also got a strike out tool. So if there's something you want to say to the student crossed out, like that, and you can put in there, this is not correct, for example. Okay, so um, those are the, oh, and you can again change the color of um, your typing with these buttons here, and you can change the font size as well. So I think that's pretty much all the buttons on, on there that I want to show you. So let's imagine I've finished um, marking up, commenting on the student work, perhaps I'll just put a, a, an area comment and leave it in this time. Now, having finished marking um, the essay, uh, let me think of a mark. I don't have to put a mark in at this stage, but I'm just going to, so I'll do 65. And then in here, I can put some general feedback. A bit limited, I know, but this is just for demonstration purposes. 100 generic feedback might be a bit longer than that. But I can also attach a feedback file, click on that, and click Browse My Computer. And if I look on my desktop, I've got somewhere a feedback file. There we are. Double click on that. And that is then attached once I click submit. And that is done. So I've marked up, marked up that work. Um, I've uh, entered some generic feedback. And the system takes me automatically onto the second student's. Um, submitted work, which I can then get on with um, uh, marking. Okay, I'll stop there. In the next video, I'll show you how uh, the student goes into Blackboard and uh, accesses and looks at the feedback uh, on their essay and the general feedback as well. I'll also show you in, in that same video how potentially a second marker can go in first and look at your marking on a student work and, and moderate it and add their own comments as well. Okay, thank you.